Hey YouTube! I am finally back from Comic Con. It was so much fun and if you haven't seen the vlog yet, which is a really long <laughs> five day vlog, then it is the video that went up just before this one. Hint, go check it out! So, as I'm sure you'll know, every time I go to a convention, I buy a whole load of crap. And then I come back and I show you guys all the crap. Disclaimer, not actually crap. Some of it is, is actually really good. So I had a great time and if you've seen the vlog you'll know that I'd spent way more than £100 in like the first two hours of a three day convention. I, I, I was not very smart with my money but on the second day I bought nothing but food so it kind of like leveled out. So you join me in today's video for my Comic Con haul because it says it in the title I don't know what else you were expecting. So in no particular order I'm just going to start off with this. This was the most practical buy of all Comic-Con. So this is a fan, and the print on it is from Free Iwatomi Swim Club. Or if you're from Tumblr back in the day before it came out, um, swimming anime. <laughs> and it's double-sided. So you can fan yourself with cute navy looking boys? Or just shirtless boys. I have to say, this came in really useful at con because, oh my god, it was warm and you can fan yourself with it. So yeah, that was the first item and I think it was probably just the, the best thing to buy because when you're walking around boiling hot in a convention in costume all day, you can just whip out this super cute fan. Oh, okay. The next thing that I got um, walking around with my friends was this little Harry Potter box, but inside there are badges. Now, I do not have all the badges because we bought this as a trio. So, um, my friend McKeagle in the vlog, who is my co-gaming partner on the Keeps of the Welk. Check. Check. No, it's that side. It's that side. Check it out. Check out that link. Go see me play hilarious video games with my friend. Um, he is a Hufflepuff. My friend Ben, who if you've watched the vlog, you'll have seen him. He is a Slytherin and I am a Ravenclaw. So... Yeah, it just made sense because then we all have something. It's it's like a it's like a cute group friendship item, but you know, don't really know what I'm gonna do with Hogwarts and Gryffindor. I I said I'd pay for the other two. Well, I didn't, but because they've ended up with me, I assume I'm paying for three out of five batches now. So maybe maybe I'll give Gryffindor to my mom because she's a Gryffindor. Holla if you want the Hogwarts one. <laughs> okay. So, um, coming into Comic-Con, we got these, like, goodie bags, and they had stuff like the program in them that gives you all the information and crap about what's going on. Yeah, it was uh, Forbidden Planet that was giving out all the goodies. Forbidden Planet, I ordered a manga from you six months ago, seven months ago. Where is it? Where the hell is it? Fucking hell, Forbidden Planet. Oh, we got a free comic book. It was nice to get a free comic. It's in full colour. Uh, a bendy Mr. Bean. More junk, 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 junk. Oh, this is one that I actually wanted. It's a magazine on anime. Oh, perfect blue. Here's an anime you should go watch. Yeah, if you like um, weird psychological seinen anime that are, I don't know, I really like the aesthetic of this one. It was cute, but weird. I Go, go watch this. Junk. Ah, oh, we kept being given free Snickers all day. Other confectionaries are available, but I like Snickers. We got given free DVDs. Now, the convention could not get rid of these DVDs fast enough, and even giving them out for free, people just did not want them. So, the DVD we got given was this. And this is Gyo, Tokyo Fish Attack. And I think Gyo just means fish. Now, oh, I have two. Uh, I, I kind of don't even want one copy of this. I mean, I'll have it just for the laugh, but um, I'm looking at the back and I'm looking at the quality of the animation and it looks absolutely fucking atrocious. I'm so sorry to whoever had to make this. It just looks really, really shit. Reasons I'm still going to watch it are because it's based on the Junji Ito manga. I have no idea if the plot is the same, considering that I'm seeing someone um, cupping someone's bare boob on the back of the DVD case, I am going to assume that this is, uh, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I don't know, 
I know the manga is good. I don't know whether this is going to be any good. The animation looks crap, so I'm going to assume not. And it's one of those where, because it's, it looks so low budget, literally just read the manga. Literally just read the manga. Just do it. Don't bother with this. But um, I have two copies, so if I ever do a giveaway, one of you is getting a copy of Kingyo Tokyo Fish Attack. You, be warned. Now none of you will enter the giveaway. <laughs> okay. Offer freebies. Let's let's do let's do some cute stuff. Ooh, cute stuff. And these are all mystery boxes as well. And all of them are Yuri on Ice themed. So I picked these up over a couple hours, I guess. So I have no idea who is in them. I'm not one of those people that can shake something and just know what the character is. So we're gonna open these. I have been so good and haven't opened any of these. So so we're gonna do this one first. So this is what these keychains look like. Okay, next I'm going to do this cute snow globe one. Boop. Cute. I haven't got any um, sunglally stuff till now. I, yeah, I really like his design, by the way. He's, like, one of my favourites, even though he's just, like, never in it. Look how cute. Okay, now onto this one. God, I can't even get my nail under the cardboard. Boop. Oh, cute. It's Pitchett. So we have a cute little Pitchett there. And, okay, this is the last one, and you can only get six of these. But like, look at all six of the designs, they're so cute. I really don't know which one to hope to get, they're all so cute! I kind of wonder if I should have got like, multiples of each one. These are like £7 each though, so you can see how I spent all my money very quickly. Woo, we got the one on the front! Which is a cute Katsudon on a jog with Makachin. Woo, so those are my mystery boxes. I kind of really want to find more of those little, I think they're called Omanju. I don't really know if that's the exact name for them. But I kind of really want to find more of them. Okay, and one more thing I got that isn't really like a mystery figure, but it kind of was. If you've seen the vlog, we played Rock, Paper, Scissors, but like the Japanese, it's like... Sanken... I don't know. We played Rock, Paper, Scissors in Japanese with um, the representative of a good smile who came down to do a big presentation it was really cool and interesting and uh, we won some stuff or I mean I won one um, playing rock paper scissors I beat his ass at rock paper scissors and I got this and if you've seen the vlog you've seen it unboxed already um, I think they're the same I think everyone got the same I, I, I assume that because me and my friend who won he got the same thing as me and um, it is it is this no, I have no idea who this guy is or what he's from. Apparently, like this is the series he's from, but I don't know what it is. I don't, I don't speak Japanese, so I have no idea. I would, I would watch it. It looks cool. I mean, there's a lot of handsome men in it. I would totally watch it if I knew. So, if anyone knows who the hell this guy is, let me know. They all look cute. Okay, I'm gonna move on to books and comics now. So one of the first things that I'm going to show you is this, and I picked this up for a fiver. It is signed by the artist who is named, looks like Patrick Warren, I'm pretty sure that's what it says. And honestly I just really liked the style of this one, I really like the colours, and it's full colour all the way through. Yeah, I picked it up just because, I don't know, I've never heard of it, so I might as well try it. And it was only a fiver, so that's not bad. I also picked this up just because I keep saying that I want to branch out into manga and doujinshi like as, as something that I draw, because I draw a lot, but I never draw manga or comics. So I picked this up, and this is also signed. Everything I picked up, they were just like, oh hey, I'll sign that for you, and I was like, okay. So I can tell this is brand new because um, some of the pages haven't even been cut yet. I'm just going to pull that off. The main reason that I got this was for the end part, because I mean, I feel like I can draw... This is meant for like a beginner, so I feel like I can already draw better than this. Um, but in terms of stuff like stylistic things and how it works in terms of actually putting it in a manga, and I mean, they have stuff like dynamic poses and blah blah blah. I mainly bought this for the end, which is about like page construction and all that shit. So, I mean, I could just do it online, but I, I really like to have how-to books about the house. I have a lot of them now. Um, and yeah, it was pretty cheap. I think it was like a tenner or something. 
So I bought this on the last day just because I saw it and I was like, Ah, yeah, sure. <laughs> so here's the part where all you younger viewers need to leave. I say that, I have been buying Yaoi since I was... So I mean, I, I can't judge, but it is my responsibility to tell you to get out of here. I cannot control whether or not you stay. But there is your warning. But a lot of Dojinshi. <laughs> I say a lot. I bought four. I thought I bought more than four. Did I buy more than four? No, I only bought four. Fairly expensive. I um, don't read or watch most of these series, but it's not always why you buy doujins, is it? It's because they're full of hot guy. That's the secret. I think I can show you all the covers, actually. So I got this one, which is Dramatical Murder. I keep meaning to get into this. And this one came with, like, some free gifts and stuff. I oh yeah, I am. Um, it also came with I oh how do I block? Oh there we go. It also came with like a free pull out poster page of one of the more spicy pages inside, which I would love to put up on my room somewhere. I feel like that might push my mother over the edge, but then I have a whole shelf of Dojinshi, some bondage keychains, and two Dakimakras on my bed right now. So, who knows? Maybe she just still won't care. <laughs> but that is pretty cool. I just, I mainly buy them because I like the artwork, and I liked the artwork, so I wanted to see what a dick looked like in this art style. It's basically how it works for me. What else did I pick up? Oh yeah, obviously I got uh, the Psychopath one because I found some Psychopath ones actually. This ha this does not have my husbando in it. I did see two with my husbando in it. Both of them I have seen online before and the art style of those wasn't brilliant and so I didn't buy either with my husband in them. But I did get this one because it looked nice and I had not seen it online before and um, yeah, it's very, it's very rated 18. You can see it on the back as well there. Haven't actually opened and read this one. It's quite, it's quite thick actually. So it looks like a decent amount of pages for 16 pounds. All doujins are always really expensive. Just FYI. So, um, I mean, but I'm used to, I'm used to paying these prices for them. One day I will draw them. Uh, I also got a. Is this high I think it's on oh, no, a. No, no, yeah, it is Haikyuu. I don't ship anyone from Haikyuu, so I I don't know why I picked this up. I again, I just like the art style and also the um. The, uh, I can't, I really can't show you, but I'm, I'll bl I'll blur it just just for the example. I know you can't see this because I know it's blurred out, but um, all the comics have a little sticker here that shows you one of the spicy pages, and. I liked the spicy page, so I picked it up. And then the last one I got, I am probably not going to show you the front of it, but oh, I can't show you the... I mean, if I show you the back, that should tell you enough. It's an Osumatsu-san doujin. I've never watched it, I've never had any, or read it. I, I Actually, I think it's a manga, I'm not sure. I've never had any interest on it, but someone on my goddamn Twitter always posts Osumatsu-san yaoi and I'm not opposed to it. The only, the only exposure I have ever had to this fandom is just pure smut and so I was like, do you know what? I quite like that. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read some of that. I, um, I don't read enough Japanese to know whether they are in fact relatives, but I am going to assume that they probably are. They look like, I mean, some, I can't really tell who's who in any of this. They look exactly the fucking same. Mm -mm. Let's just leave that one there. And then, oh my god. I was looking through all the yaoi. I was there with my head down, going through dozens and dozens and dozens of yaoi. By the way, no Yuri on Ice, because every single vendor that had yaoi, they were all run by, um, all the stalls that had yaoi were run by women. And the women, when I got there, and I was looking through, she was like, I was just looking for everything, as you can see. And she was like, oh, I hope you're not looking for Euro and Ice, because I bought them all. And I was just like, why would you tell your customers that? And we went to another stall later on, and she said the same thing. She was like, oh yeah, the second we opened, I just bought them all before anybody got here. And she was just talking about, not Euro and Ice, she was just talking about all the, in her own words, good yaoi. So, 
Whoever is hiring these women, like, I get it, you just care about the profits, but at the same time, what is the freaking point in even bringing them to the convention if you're just going to buy them? But not only that, tell your customers, because what's the point in telling me, I already bought all the good yaoi? Because that to me just means, well, this is all crap and not worthy of your money, so why am I buying it? What is the logic there? But they did have some Yuri and Ice stuff, and don't know why this bitch didn't buy this, because... I mean, I mean, I own a fair amount of Euro and Ice Dojins already, but I do not own this, and I cannot believe that they were selling this at the convention, and that they had some left. It is the Pash art book. Oh. My. God. If you know anything about Euro and Ice, you will have seen this somewhere. This was really cheap as well, like, I've, this has been out of stock pretty much in a lot of places online. Um, I never really intended to buy it. I, I saw it and I was always like, that would be nice to own. But I also didn't realise it was so big, like, Jesus Christ. But um, I never intended to purchase one, um, especially because with the shipping it would be really expensive. But this was not that expensive and it's huge. And now I own a goddamn Pash art book, which I know a lot of people were raving over at the time. So yeah, it's called The Illustration File. It's all in Japanese but oh my god it has like whole segments dedicated to just Yuri on Ice. There's other stuff in here as well but um it comes with a full-size poster of the artwork you see on the front. Like just look at all this really nice official artwork in here. It is not just Yuri on Ice either they have stuff like Mob Psycho 100 which has like character files and stuff in it. Osmatsu-san is in here, I just associate it with pornography. Um, I think that's Bongo Stray Dogs, I haven't watched it, it's on my list. Yeah, I just kind of cannot believe that I could find one of these and buy it in person in my own country. So I, I definitely got it, <laughs> I, I had to. And yeah, now I, I own this, I feel like I should display it somewhere but I don't know where. And so yeah, that was definitely, I think, the... <laughs> the major purchase, the highlight of my Comic-Con shopping adventures. So as well as the comics and the how to draw, I also picked up this. And this is the Psychopaths official profiling, which is all in Japanese again, but um, it has stuff in here like, I think, um, character designs and information and there was actually, this is an advert for the second one, I went up and it was the second one that I saw and I asked for it and he said, oh we've also got part one as well, so then I, I just bought, I just bought part one. <laughs> Sorry! Um, they're quite expensive but um, yeah, I, this is not the only psychopath thing I saw as well, there was like a full psychopath art book or something but that was like nearly 50 quid and I could not afford that, or I could, but I didn't want to afford it. Um, but yeah, so I picked this up, I have to buy Psychopaths everywhere I go, at every convention to make it a success. One day we'll run out of Psychopaths items to buy and then I will be sad. But my collection keeps growing, so uh, there's that. Okay guys, so that was it, that was my Comic Con haul. Like I said, I didn't buy a huge amount, I mainly spent money on food, <laughs> yaoi collectibles and little mystery boxes. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you guys bought anything from Comic-Con, if you went, or if you have similar stuff, you can link me down below because I love to watch other people's hauls and unboxings too. So don't feel shy, you know, you can link your own videos in the comments section down below if you want to share them with me. Or if you don't film them, just feel free to brag about what you bought down below. I hope you enjoyed this video guys, remember to leave a like, a comment or a favourite if you did, subscribe to see more stuff like this in the future, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!